Nothing major is happening for the Warriors recently, we're currently the second seed in the West with a 24-6 record. As James Wiseman and Klay Thompson are about to return, I took a deeper look at this current Warriors roster. What surprised me the most is that the Warriors somehow successfully copied and even improved the formula of their championship roster a few years back. In today's video, we'll be breaking down the Warrior Championship roster in the past few years and do some comparisons to see exactly how the team rebuilt another deep roster. And with that being said, let's throw the intro. Yo, what's up guys, Jason here, back with another video. If it's your first time watching, I make Golden State Warriors content on a weekly basis, so don't forget to leave that subscribe and turn on the notification bell, and you'll be the first one in the future to see more awesome videos, just like this. Okay, I'm going to be using the 2016 to 2017 season roster as a comparison to the current one, because I think that championship season has the most weight. Alright, first up, starting 5, point guard, Steph Curry. Now, the only actual difference between the 2016 Steph Curry and the 2021 Steph Curry is that he got older but better. So far this year, I did not see any regression from Steph and to me, he is my MVP winner this year. Moving on to shooting guard. Now, I know Klay Thompson is still injured but we will still put him up here because he's returning really soon. Unlike Steph, there is a potential red flag here. The 2016 Klay Thompson was definitely way healthier, meaning his defensive attribute may face some slight downgrade once he comes back. Nonetheless, Klay Thompson is still one of the best shooters in the league and I cannot wait for him to come back to see how this Warriors team will improve overall. Alright, moving on to the small four position. The 2016 Warriors had Kevin Durant, one of the best players in the league. Now, although not at the same level as Kevin Durant, Andrew Wiggins is still a perfect fit for the Warriors. From a playing style perspective, Wiggins can finish near the rim and take shots basically anywhere on the court. To be honest, I'm really surprised by how Wiggins improved his defense throughout the season with the Warriors, but most importantly, Wiggins' basketball IQ is really top notch. You look at Kelly Uber Jr. last year, you can clearly tell that he was struggling with the Warriors scheme. But looking at Wiggins, he's able to execute Steve Kerr's plan at a high level. Now, looking at the power forward spot, we still have Draymond Green. I think we can all reach this agreement here. Even though Draymond is falling a tiny bit on the offensive side of the ball, his overall defense in all level and playmaking are absolutely top tier in the league. I used to think that the team might trade him sometime in the future, but that thought right now just looks so educated. Draymond Green's impact on this Warriors franchise is really just irreplaceable. Now at the center position, the Warriors had Zaza Pachulia in the 2016 season. This year, they have a much more developed version of Kevon Looney. Although he doesn't show that much on the box score, his rebounding and defense are really something the Warriors value a lot. As you can see, he's been with the team for almost 7 years. Okay, now let's take a look at the bench. The Warriors had David West back in 2016, and the replacement now is Nemanja Bialica. Now, don't get me wrong here, both players have different playing style. Bialica has that kind of European playing style where he can shoot threes and play make, and David West, on the other hand, is a great memory shooter and play great defense with great veteran presence. And also, both players are all on veteran minimum contract, and I like the Warriors' decision here to bring in more threat behind the arc in picking up the Minya Bialica. Okay, another key rotational player the Warriors had in 2016 was Sean Livingston, and his placement right now is Otto Porter Jr. Both players have the similar physical attributes, but Porter is a much better 3-point shooter. I think we can all see the trend here. This offseason acquisition by the Warriors are all veterans with better range compared to previous years as the emphasis on their focus with a more explosive spacing offense. And now comes the scary part. The following players I'm about to compare will make you realize how smart this Warriors franchise is. First up, current starting shooting guard Jordan Poole. The comparison you can barely find here is Quinn Cook, but we all know Jordan Poole is better by a significant degree. Another example, current player James Wiseman is way better than Jordan Bell. Damian Lee again here, way better than Nick Young. I haven't even mentioned key players like defensive specialist Gary Payton II and playmaker Juan Toscano Anderson. And guess what? 
I haven't even mentioned the two lottery draft picks we have, Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody. Yesterday against the Raptors, with the starter arrested, Jonathan Kaminga exploded with 26 points and Moody also had 11 points. I was really critical when the Warriors made those two picks instead of trading for an all-star, but now I'm really starting to understand the logistics behind all these moves. Alright guys, so this wraps up the video. Comment down below if you agree with my take or not. And if you enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a subscribe and follow me on social media with all the links in the description down below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.